Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to Soul Vibes Tarot if you're new here. So in today's pick a card reading, we are getting into the next three months of your love life. What is going on in the world of love and romance for you in the next three months? Remember, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you. And the next three months from whenever you're watching this is the timeline. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you enjoy and that it resonates with you. If it does, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get into your piles. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one is pineapple calcite. Pile two is pink quartz. And pile three is amethyst. Okay, so if you need to pause this video, go ahead and do that to tune into each of the piles, see which one resonates with you the most. And whenever you are ready, I love the timestamps in the description box below, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, pile one, welcome to your reading. So if you chose this pineapple calcite, this is going to be your reading all about your love life for the next three months. So we're going to get into what is going on, what's coming up for you, um, what you could be looking forward to or expecting, any sort of love blessings coming your way. Um, but before we get into that, I did want to pull some tarot cards to see where you currently are in your love life, just so that you can kind of also tune in and see if this reading is for you, if the message is, um, you know, your message. Um, and then we'll get into the next three months. And also remember, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you. So we have our first Oracle card here. This is going to kind of tell me what's coming up for you in the next three months. Um, so we have the number 36, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, so <laughs> there's definitely something here about a lot of passion, attraction, sexual energy, um coming up for you in your love life in the next three months so we're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna get into that once we start pulling cards for the next three months but first let's see where you're at right now so where's pile one at currently in with regards to love and romance and their love life what is pile one's situation currently Okay, where is pile one at right now in their love life? What is their current situation? Okay. We got a few cards that fall out here. And I don't want to spend too much time on the current situation. I just want to kind of get an idea of where you could be at so that, you know, we all know what's going on. So we have the Six of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Moon, the Tower, and the King of Cups. And we have the Emperor at the bottom. So with this, I'm getting that... You could perhaps already be involved with someone. Um... You could be in a relationship right now, okay? And this won't resonate with all of you, but you could already be in a relationship right now um, because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles is like the wife, the mother. It's a very stable energy. So um, this gives me that kind of stable relationship vibe. And then we have the King of Cups, which is the masculine energy. And that's like having deep feelings of love, emotional commitment, stability, and all of that. So... Um, I see that that could be something that you're like in a situation in. However, the cards that we have around it, which are the moon, the tower, and the six of swords, this could indicate that maybe there was some sort of a fight or a breakup or some sort of a major ending or conflict, something like that, that shook up your world. And now we have the six of swords situation where you're trying to move on from that that turbulent water and the chaos and the conflict and you're trying to move towards calm peaceful waters now whether you're trying to move on together with this person or alone that's your own like specific situation so take whatever resonates from that but what i'm seeing is that there is a person that you're involved with and there was a lot of you know the moon so there was a lot of maybe secrets that were revealed or 
things that were below the surface that you didn't see before that came to the light and maybe that maybe it was fear based you know maybe it was just in your own head or in their head or it was actual things that were happening in your situation that caused for this tower moment to happen for everything to kind of blow up in your face um and and shake things up a little bit to where you have to be like well we can't do that anymore like if we can't be in this conflict energy anymore we can't have this um something needs to change is what i'm feeling something needs to change in this connection and so you're you're fine you're going towards towards peace and calm and right before the six of swords is the five of swords which is all about conflict it's a lose-lose situation um jealousy envy um competition it's just a very low vibrational like egoic energy so yes i don't know what specifically your situation is but this is kind of what's going on there was a fight there was a breakup there was an ending or there was just a redirection in this connection okay so that's kind of where you're at <laughs> um because we also have the emperor at the bottom which is like again that very solid stable divine masculine energy so i i am feeling pretty strongly that this was was is a serious relationship that you are in or somebody that you're seriously committed to um and there was just some turbulence here and so let's see where the next three months are going to be for your love life um well, we already had the second chakra come out with Archangel Ariel. So there's a lot of reignition of passion. There's a spark here. There's a lot of creative energy flowing, a lot of excitement and motivation, desire. So let's see. Pile one, what is coming up for them for the next three months in their love life? Okay, so we have soulmates at the bottom. And we have the Sacred Woman and Chivalry. We'll put that there. These. I'm going to try to fit everything into this screen. Okay, let's see. Um, let's pull a Romance Angel. So tell me about the next three months for pile one's love life what is going on for pile one the next three months pile one the next three months what is going on in their love life We have expressed your love and soulmate. We have soulmate twice. Holy crap. Okay. So this person that you're dealing with could be your soulmate um, that you're having kind of trouble with or a little bit of conflict that needs to be worked out. I don't. Okay. And at the bottom, we have romantic feelings. Yeah, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so now let's pull some tarot cards for you. So what can you tell me about pile one and the next three months of their love life? What is going on for pile one in the next three months? Next three months. Okay, so we have the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Swords. We do have the Sun at the bottom with the Wheel of Fortune under that. Okay, so the next three months of your love life. So there's definitely going to be some sort of um, a revelation or an epiphany or some sort of insight in your love life where you're going to see something clearly 
Um, but there is a lot of conflict energy still. We have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. That's a lot of change as well. So a lot of turbulence still change. Um, maybe you're still coming off of this tower moment that happened here. So I do see that there's a lot of... Um, maybe communication about this because the ace of swords is very clear direct honest communication and it's surrounded by the five of wands and the five of swords so perhaps you are talking to this person about um whatever it is that is causing this these problems and this conflict right so there is a lot of communication around that because we also have the page of pentacles and i think the communication is centered around um like how to begin anew with the page of pentacles you know how to start new how to um build that stable ground again with the pentacle and like it's the seed is growing how to grow this seed um but there's a lot of attraction and passion and chemistry here between you and this person um i mean soulmate is showing up in the next three months so i feel like in the next few months of your love life you are going to be connecting with a soulmate um and working through i think you guys are going to be working through these issues that you have because you do see clearly now because with the moon currently i feel like there's a lot of illusion still there's a lot of haze confusion the unknown uncertainty not seeing things clearly and maybe that is what is causing this tower moment here and and all of the drama but I see that in your future, you do have that drama still kind of comes up, like the conflict comes up, but now there's clarity around it, right? Instead of being like in the light of the moon, the darkness, like illusion, now you have clarity and you have the sun as well at the bottom. So now all of it gets illuminated and it gets seen for what it is. Okay. And um, I think there's going to be some sort of an effort made here to express your love. And to communicate about how you guys can begin anew on more stable ground. Because there is a lot of passion here between you guys. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. A lot of desire. And I do think that um, the masculine in this situation is going to be like a, a gentleman and, and very chivalrous. Chivalrous. And just making the effort to make the feminine feel worthy and loved and like there is going to be an expression of love here right it's like this chivalry right this man is going towards this woman and it's like this man sees this woman as sacred so this woman is sacred um she's healing her heart and this man sees the the sacredness in this woman and that it is worth investing the energy into because you are soulmates. So this is your soulmate. So the next three months you're dealing with the soulmate. There are romantic feelings here. There's a reconciliation. You guys are coming back together. If there was a fight or a breakup, I do see that there is going to be um, trying to resolve this, you know, really putting in the effort and the work to resolve it through a lot of communication. But I do want to clarify these five of wands and five of swords energies because I want to see what's going to happen with that. So can you please clarify the five of wands? The three of wands and then the five of swords for pile ones next three months. what I was feeling um we have the seven of pentacles the death card and the three of pentacles so I do see a positive change here I do and I think that you need to hear that you need to know that you need to have that valid like that reassurance um that things are going to change for the better the fives are about a lot of changes so I think that whatever this conflict energy was with this situation it is going to change for the better um the five of wands is clarified by the three of wands so I feel like you you're going to expand out of this you're going to grow out of this um you're gonna get out of your comfort zone or like just you and this person you guys are gonna get out of your comfort zone and try to move towards like move move away from this move away from this conflict energy 
Um, and then with the Five of Swords, there is a, a death here, a transformation. The Seven of Pentacles, it's about reevaluating and looking at the situation in a new perspective, kind of, and just giving it some thought, contemplating it, and bringing an end to it with the death card like there's a transformation here with this conflict the five of swords the fighting the arguing the um not seeing eye to eye the jealousy the insecurities the fear the doubt the whatever it is that that caused this tower moment i think that with a lot of with patience and time it's kind of going to be a slow moving process to rebuild um and for this transformation to happen but it is there is a rebirth here in this connection and this 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 drama conflict energy that i just described is going to come to an end and then you guys are going to figure out a way to work together with the three of pentacles it could be a third party situation too that you have been dealing with um because we have the two threes clarifying the conflict so the conflict could be caused by a third party that could be a person that could be an institution a uh, just a third you know, it doesn't have to be like a cheating betrayal type of situation, infidelity. It can be like a third party and however, like a person that is affecting your relationship or a situation or an addiction even. Um, just some outside factor that is impacting the success of this relationship or just the health of the relationship. So I do feel that that is going to be transformed here. And... Um, and there's there's the sun there's happiness here there is this happiness fulfillment energy so um i kind of want to know like what your advice is so what is your advice for pile one with regards to this situation What is your advice for pile one for this regarding this situation? What is your advice for pile one? <clears throat> what is your advice? Ooh, look, now we have counterparts. We have the Empress and then we have the Emperor at the bottom. So this is definitely soulmate energy, twin flame energy, divine counterpart energy, marriage, something like that. Oh my gosh, look. We have the three of pentacles, the lovers, and the empress. It's Your advice here is to work together with this person. Your advice is to invest the effort, you know, the time, the um, expansion, right? So this is about expanding this connection, and but in a physical way, like putting in the physical work and effort to to work through these things. So if that means spending more quality time together, or if that means um going to seek help like from a counselor or it's practical taking practical action to making things work and so it's collaborating the three pentacles is about collaborating being a team working together seeing eye to eye right because we have the lovers and the empress two major arcanas so your advice here is to see that you are soulmates is to see that this person is your divine counterpart and because of that knowing you're able to remain in this like collaborative energy where you want to grow and expand together. Maybe you guys work together or maybe there's like a joint project that you guys can really put your heads together on and achieve success. So maybe there's something um, that is happening in your life, like this third party situation that is impacting this, like a stressful outside situation that you guys could actually work. Like, let's say you guys have to remodel your home and it's really causing a lot of stress and fighting because you guys are just stressed and it's just a, a pain in the ass and you guys are turning against each other. You know, this is kind of, it's just an example, but this is just kind of saying that like, hey, instead of be bickering and blaming each other for not getting the paint right or whatever or not doing a good enough job you know working together and being like hey let me help you with this let me work with you on this and let's like you know just like kind of be a team don't be in this conflict energy don't be look we have the three of pentacles twice so it could definitely be to do with like a physical situation in your life that you're dealing with um like a practical physical work home um relocating money um health even a, a, another person yeah so anyway your advice is to work together with this person it is to see that you guys are the lovers right you guys are divinely connected you guys are meant to be 
And then the Empress, it's to be in your most empowered, strong, highest vibrational energy. It's to know your worth, know your value, and don't let your own insecurities and your overthinking get in the way of remembering your worth and who you are. And that this person does love you and does want to like work with you and be with you and put in the effort as well, you know. They see you as the, like you guys are soulmates. There's a lot of passion. There's deep love here. There's a stability. So it's like these fears are surfacing with the moon. And maybe the fears that are surfacing are causing this drama and conflict. And that is something that is going to be resolved. And this person does want to invest the energy into it. I think you're going to see very clearly in the next three months. Um... I'm going to clarify the Ace of Swords actually, like what this clarity is specifically, but I definitely think there's going to be this clarity, clarity of mind where you're no longer thinking from fear or insecurity, but you're seeing it, you're seeing yourself clearly as well. You're seeing yourself and you don't have to be a, a woman to be the Empress. You're just in this Empress divine feminine energy where you feel confident and, and, you know, self-assured and independent and trusting yourself and you just feel very empowered and like your best self right and you feel very magnetic and attractive you're in this very attractive energy where you kind of draw things to you just by being you and not your low vibrational insecure you but your high high you <laughs> the the one that's connected to your your soul your intuition you know where you have positive healthy thoughts about yourself and about this situation and about this person so that's your advice is to remain in that high energy. It's to be the empress, to know that this person is your emperor and to just trust in that and to work together and collaborate. Okay, so that's your advice. So um, you're in the magicians of the bottom. So you're in very attractive energy in the next three months in your love life. Very, um, yeah, very attractive. Like I said, the second chakra and the king of wands. So I just feel like there's a lot of sexual attraction here and very seductive and alluring to this person that you are or maybe this person to you as well is just this like mutual um passion passionate energy between you guys so what is this ace of swords for pile one what is this clarity that they gain oh my gosh yes we have the two of swords the two of swords is a block it's like the two of swords doesn't allow you to see clearly because of your own fears and doubts and it's almost like you're paralyzed in fear you can't make a decision you can't move forward because you're not seeing things accurately and clearly because you're blocking your intuition you're blocking your truth you're living in fear or you're living in worst case scenarios or what ifs and you're gonna that that is what you're gonna have clarity on is like finally i see clearly i see the truth and there's a lot of healing around that with the star. You know, this is Aquarius energy. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of um, a wish fulfillment here. A wish come true. Seeing clearly that maybe this person is your wish come true. And the stars are aligning for you guys. Look, the Ace of Cups at the bottom. There's this beautiful abundance of love here. Empress at the bottom again. Just know that. Know that you deserve this love be able to receive the love don't let this stuff get in the way it seems like it's something that you guys can work through and i feel like you will work through it and there's a lot of fear getting in the way oh my gosh look it's fear blocking you guys there's this this beginning of love this new love this abundance of love that's trying to flow in here that is what you're going it's a new beginning here with that maybe even this person communicating to you how they truly feel like their deeper feelings of love for you and now you're going to see clearly like, holy shit, I'm this person's wish fulfillment. Because, you you know, we have the Empress here. And then we have the Eight of Swords and the Emperor. So what's blocking the Emperor and the Empress from, you know, being together here is this fear energy. This self-deprecating, self-sabotaging energy of just thoughts that aren't necessary. So I'm almost thinking maybe some of this is not even an actual thing, but it's just... You guys are soulmates. It's just your own fears and stuff getting in the way of this connection. Yeah. So let's just see if there's any final messages. I think that the main thing um, in the next three months of your love life, you're going to see very clearly this situation. You're no longer going to be seeing from the lens of illusion. 
and fear and uncertainty, you're going to have certainty about something. You're going to have clarity and certainty, maybe about how this person feels about you or what they want from you. Or maybe you're going to see very clearly that they actually do want to invest the time and energy into this connection and how much they do love you and how passionate they are about you and how much they want to pursue you. I think you're going to see that clearly, right? You're going to see clearly that this person's your soulmate you're aligning with with them you know there's the reconciliation you guys are soulmates there's romantic feelings here there's a happy ending here um there's an expression of love and you just need to stay in your best highest vibration and try not to let your own fears and doubts get in the way of making this happen so anything else that you want to say to pile one about what is coming up in their love life for the next three months any final messages I'm not going to take these because they kind of just like fell out. They didn't, they, I wasn't feeling it, but we do have the five of pentacles and the devil. So I do feel like this is an attachment to some sort of um, fear of abandonment, maybe, or fear of loneliness, fear of being alone, fear of being left because the devil is, is an attachment. It's our, it's our, you know, the, the toxic traits that we have, the unhealthy whatever fill in the blank anything that is not aligned with our higher self and then we have the five of pentacles next to it so i'm getting this sense that maybe um inadequacy right feeling not good enough feeling not good enough not having enough the not enough energy the lack energy this is exactly what you need to get out of you need to be in your empress energy knowing that you are good enough you are beautiful and wonderful and amazing and worthy of this love and and once you get into this high vibrational energy it's like there's this beautiful union of this love where you guys are flowing and working together instead of coming from this insecure energy so i think for you insecurity is kind of coming up here it's it could be a big thing here affecting this relationship what else do you want heil oh my gosh the queen of wands yes say no more the queen of wands. This is what's coming up for you in the next three months. You are going to be the sexiest, most attractive person. And not just because you're physically hot or sexy or handsome or whatever. It's because your energy, your, it's, it's really about your energy. It's not about your physical looks, but this person is going to be so fucking attracted to you physically and in all the ways because of your energy it's like you're emanating this confidence this passion this fire um independence empowerment you know this strength this this courage this strength this you've overcome a lot of your own things you know you face your shadow you've overcome things you've changed a lot of things within your energy and now it just changes everything around you. And now you have the the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Again, counterpart energy coming together into this union. So I think, yes, like you're going to be in a very confident energy the next three months. Very attractive, sexy. Um, and this person's going to want all of it. And um, you're feeling good. You're feeling really good about yourself. Really, but there is like, again, a lot of sexual, sexy, fiery passionate creative energy as well um very spiritual um a little bit mysterious right so you're going to be in this more mysterious um hard to figure out energy like mm, very um like this person's gonna be very curious about you and wanting and very intrigued by you um also just a very positive friendly happy attitude this is sagittarius leo and aries energy and then we have the wheel of fortune at the bottom so um, there's a lot of changes that are coming up for you in your love life in the next three months, a lot of positive changes, a lot of things that are part of your destiny. So things that are destined to happen It's part of your, your karma um, and things are going to be go with the flow is the advice here. Like just go with the flow of all the changes that are going to happen. Just remember to remain confident and secure within yourself. Know who you are. Know how amazing you are. Don't let any outside factor get in your head just remain stable within yourself and your emotions and just go with the flow with the changes and there are a lot of positive changes here coming in in this connection you know and that's what you need to know um you can put down your guard and you can just fo maybe just like focus more on yourself and doing things for you that make you happy you know which would create a lot more security within you and in this relationship because like all of 
this conflict energy here, um, I think could be, will be resolved. Will be resolved as long as there's this, that transformation that needs to happen with this collaboration, really reevaluating how you want to move forward, where you want to plant your seeds, seeing things clearly, doing a lot more healing and just, yeah, being in that empowered energy. So that's what I have for you, pile one. Um, I hope that that was helpful and it resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the best on your journey and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, pile two. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this pink quartz, this is going to be a reading all about the next three months of your love life. What is going on? What is coming up for you for the next three months? So this Oracle card is kind of going to give me an overall energy for the next three months. But before we get into that, well, we are going to look at it. But before we get deep into the next three months, what I'm going to do first is pull some tarot cards to see where you currently are in your love life, just so that you can see if this is your pile, if this message resonates with you, if that is your current situation. So for the next three months, we do have number 38, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. So this is, I'm kind of going to put this off to the side and we'll, we'll discuss that once we get into the next three months, but there's definitely, this is the heart chakra. So there's something here to do with matters of the heart, with love, maybe an opening of your heart, a healing of your heart, maybe love coming in in the next three months. So it looks like a very positive, hopeful energy. Um, but just let's just see where you are currently in your love life. So where is Pile 2 currently? What is your current situation? Just so they know if this is their Pile or not. What is Pile 2 going through right now currently in your love life? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. What is Pile 2 currently going through in their love life? What is their current situation in love and romance? The Page of Cups. at the bottom seven of pentacles the world um so we have the nine of wands the ace of wands the page of cups the six of swords the eight of pentacles so what i'm feeling for your love life is that you have felt like the wounded warrior for a while now um perhaps maybe things have not been working out in the realm of love and um there's been disappointments missed opportunities maybe you're just a little bit bored with the offers that you're getting um with the four of cups you're kind of disinterested bored um emotionally unavailable for them just you know kind of focusing on you there's a lot of stagnancy it looks like there's just waiting having to be patient i do see you focusing on your career right now and maybe putting a lot of your attention and focus on making money or mastering a skill of some sort um building something maybe building wealth and um i do see though with the nine of wands that you perhaps have felt like this kind of defensive a little bit on on guard self-protective like um people are coming at you and you're having to fight them off energy and maybe that's because of like i said like past hurts and just the people in the past have not been what you are looking for in the realm of love but i do see that there are like love offers so we have the page of cups so this is like a more youthful young energy and this could be something somebody that you're talking to right now so currently as far as your love life situation it could be that you're crushing on someone or someone has a crush on you or, or it's like this this shows me that you're like maybe in the beginning of sta beginning stages of a crush or some sort of a connection it could be through work 
um, where you guys are kind of just flirting and um, just be, being playful with each other, you know. But this is a little bit more of a, a young energy. So it, they could be younger than you. It could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, Cancer. But somebody has an interest in you or is flirting with you. Um, but it's not too serious. It's kind of lighthearted. It's fun. It's playful. Um, it does make you happy. There is passion here with the Ace of Wands. So maybe somebody is like passionately attracted to you. Um, but I don't know that you are really fully focused on this. I think you might be more focused on your, like I said, your wealth, your career, your business, your whatever. And you are trying to move on from... You're just trying to move away from conflict. Like, you're, I think you're trying to move away from this, like, Nine of Wands defensive and just being constantly hurt by people energy, you know? But I do see that there are at least one person around you who's trying to get your attention or that you're talking to, perhaps, in, like, a more flirtatious, loving way. But maybe this person is not mature enough for you emotionally or something along those lines or this could build into something else. There's There is some chemistry here. Um, so let's just see where this goes. So the next three months of your love life, um, let's pull some cards. So maybe like this person is trying to talk to you, but you're just not interested. <laughs> That's kind of where you're at. Um, yeah. So pile two, what is coming up for them in the next three months of their love life? What is coming up for love for pile two for the next three months what is coming up for love and this is a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you oh my gosh we have soulmates again at the bottom this came out at the bottom for pile one as well um so we ha we have spiritual maturity it seems like my camera angle is a little bit crooked and that's just the way that it, it's set up so that everything could be in the angle um so sorry about that if that bothers anyone but i'm gonna try to put everything in the camera so pile two what is coming up for them for love in the next three months in the next three months pile two tell me about their love life for the next three months Keep an open mind. Soulmate. Okay, this is too weird, you guys. These two were at the bottom. Wait, I don't know if this was at the bottom of the other one. I'm pretty sure. Pile one had both of these at the bottom. And you, I mean, you saw me shuffle. So, okay. We got some soulmate energy coming through here. And let's pull your tarot cards so the next three months for pile two what is coming up for them for the next three months of their love life we have strength King of Wands. The lovers at the bottom. Oh my gosh, look at these re repeating energies here. <clears throat> okay, so you probably won't be able to see all of that. I'm going to move these. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just, that's a lot of cards, you know? Okay, we'll just do it like that. Okay, so yeah, we have, um, this is what's coming up for you in the next 
three months. So what we have is the strength card, the king of wands, a three of cups, the world, the nine of wands, the page of cups, and the six of cups. So again, we have the nine of wands and the page of cups repeating itself into your next three months future. So these are the energies that you are currently in. I think this is still something that is going to carry itself over into the next three months. Um, I think you're still going to be kind of on guard. Um, feeling like you're not trying to maybe let people in 100%. You definitely do have um, like kind of a wall up, I think, because perhaps you have been hurt in the past. But I do see a lot of fun in your love life in the next three months, a lot of happiness, fun, celebration, passion, excitement. There's definitely a lot of passion here with the strength card and the king of wands. It's just like feeling... Um, Maybe this is somebody that's going to be pursuing you, who's very interested in you and determined to have you or determined to get you in some way. And the strength card is like a very strong sexual attraction too that you kind of can't like hold back. Um, but this is also about just being very confident and radiant and shining bright. This is Leo energy. So I think that you are going to be definitely very attractive to at least one or two people because we have two court cards here the page of cups and the king of wands now the next three months it could be somebody from your past um because we have the six of cups coming up so it could be somebody that is returning from your past that is like talking trying to talk to you and wanting to offer their cup of love to you that you are maybe defensive about or if it's not somebody from your past it could, well it could be an ex but it could be also like a childhood friend there is this childlike energy here with a lot of fun and playfulness um so it could be somebody from your past that you grew up with or a friend or something like that that is coming into your life and it's saying to keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation so there's definitely strong soulmate energy coming through like i said the soulmates card both of them were at the bottom here so um and then this is like a soulmate energy here with the six of cups so and then the lovers at the bottom um so it is somebody that has this soulmate connection with you that is coming into your life in the next three months and i do think that this is somebody that you can grow with um also indicating a soulmate relationship this is somebody that you can spiritually mature with this is somebody where your souls can grow together um and i think that this person is going to be somebody that you're not expecting and somebody that is different than what you're usually what you usually date perhaps so you have to keep an open mind this is a a different kind of energy um and maybe with the nine of wands here it's like maybe you're used to a certain kind of person or archetype um and those are the ones that always hurt you and so you have like and then now you've built your defenses right so maybe you're used to a certain type of person that you date and this person's not going to be like that so you might see them just as a friend because we have the three of cups like that friend energy the page of cups very light-hearted fun friendly comforting comfortable energy the six of cups there could be a major difference between you guys as well and so i think that it's just like be um and you might not want to receive this as love. Like you might look at this as like, I'm not interested, you know, but there's definitely a lot more potential here with this person. And I think definitely keep an open mind with them um, because we have the world. So this could be like a long distance relationship. This could be somebody from a different part of the world. It could be somebody who is a different background, race, ethnicity, culture, religion whatever something different than you different different worldview even you know um and i think you're kind of going to be battling between like these two sides like yes and no like especially with the gemini you know uh gemini energy here and this is leo energy so it's just like this battling with yes this is this is good i want this and no this isn't right for me like this isn't this person isn't my or like i don't know there's some sort of a battle that you're going through in your head back and forth um about this person or situation but i mean we have the the fourth chakra this is a heart opening you know so i think that there's mainly for the next three months for you there is this fun energy that you're going to be having fun with with someone it could be multiple people as well it could be just people from your past and um a lot of celebrating a lot of passion excitement 
I'm still being guarded though. I'm not sensing like a super serious energy. But I think that it's something that can grow into something more serious if you choose to do that with keep an open mind, spiritual maturity, and obviously the soulmate card. So let's just see what else, because I feel like there, there needs to be more, more needs to be told about this. So what is this soulmate energy for pile three? Sorry, pile two. What is this soulmate energy that for the next three months for them? The king of wands. Again, king of wands twice. This could be a same sex relationship. And it could be um, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Somebody who's very fiery, passionate, determined, ambitious, driven, sexual, alluring, confident, independent, empowered, like kind of like a leader type, <clears throat> but very fun and adventurous, very spontaneous. The person that likes to travel, maybe they have a cat. Um, maybe they are from a different part of the world and they're traveling to you. They have very sunny, positive, vibrant energy, very lively. Like they're li the life of the party. Like they're the life of the room. So very attractive. Okay, so you can't miss this person. That's for sure. You cannot miss this person. Um, what else do you want Pyle to, to know about the next three months about their love life? Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. The Queen and the King of Pentacles came out together. This is a serious relationship. So the next few months of your love life, whatever this is, um there's some flirting going on here there's fun you're going out with your friends um you're celebrating you're out in the world you're out and about you're showing yourself you're radiating there's a lot of competition there's a lot of eyes on you there's a lot of attention on you and you're gonna meet someone or maybe you already know maybe this is the person that was coming up in your current energy i don't know but this this person that you're gonna be talking to is going to be very excited about you and like all the things I described about this king of wands energy and um offering you their love being very vulnerable and sweet and making you feel very safe and comfortable to be honest with you like emotionally safe and comfortable they're definitely going to to open up your heart or affect you on a heart level they're really gonna um make you feel this love energy right this sweet loving energy and it's gonna feel really good and emotionally satisfying and fulfilling um and perhaps you have closed your heart up um because of past pains and hurts and just people who have wronged you and this person is gonna allow you to open up your heart and um there's this new beginning here and i see a serious relationship i see counterpart energy king and queen of pentacles this is like girlfriend boyfriend husband wife girlfriend girlfriend boyfriend boyfriend <laughs> you know so it's just this very committed long-term loyal stable grounded secure type of relationship where there's no fuckery there's no messing around but there's a lot of passion with the king of wands but it there's it comes with stability um there could be a lot of jealousy here or gossip or competition or yeah like competing for attention here i'm not sure what that is about but that's coming out and let's just clarify i want to know what the nine of nine of wands is this wounded warrior tell me more for pile two what do they need to know about this energy the hierophant Justice, the Hermit. Wow, all major arcanas. 
Page of Pentacles. I mean, this is about a marriage here. Justice and the Hierophant, they're both kind of, you know, justice is, is this indicates that maybe you were in a re serious relationship in your past, married perhaps, or had a, like a contract with someone. Um, there's just a long-term commitment here. And then there's this energy of being alone, going on your own to find yourself, self-discovery, going into hermit mode. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing a breakup in these cards, so I'm not going to assume that, but there is, as far as being the wounded warrior here, the nine of wands being this like kind of feeling defeated and on edge and now you're like kind of putting up your walls and being guarded and not trusting, it could have something to do with a serious relationship that you had. And... Yeah, like a contract that you had with someone. And um, what happened with this contract? Of the Emperor. All these major arcanas. This was a big, serious situation here. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. It could have been with a boss, like, um, I don't know, like a boss or somebody that you worked with. Um, it could have been like in the education system or some sort of an institution, like a legal matters, legal situation, um, that kind of an environment, somebody like an authority figure that you worked with that somehow made you this wounded warrior. I don't know how that relates, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. It could have been just somebody that you were in a long-term serious relationship with. And you're kind of, um, maybe that, that's the person that's returning to your life with the Six of Cups. Maybe it, it's an old spouse or an ex, like a, a serious relationship that you had with an ex. And you're really... Um, self-protective around this person okay um six of cups the tower two of pentacles six of wands and a ten of cups tower at the bottom six of cups under that I don't know exactly. I do see a, the tower. So I do see like some sort of an ending or a breakup with this person, the six of cups, a person from your past or something like that. But um, there is this indecision, this back and forth feeling up and down. That's kind of what I was feeling like, yes and no, yes and no, yes and no, like going back and forth. But I do see happiness and victory here with this person, this situation. Um, yeah, the Six of Wands. I mean, this is promising success, victory. Um, and then the Ten of Cups is ultimate happiness, you know, with your soulmate, with your person. So I do see a happy ending here and a serious relationship. Um, I would like to know... I want to know two things. I want to dig a little bit deeper into what this is first. Tell me more about this situation for Pile 2, about what is coming up in their love life for the next three months. Tell me more about this situation. The other thing I want to get is advice for you, what you need to do. <clears throat>
I mean, there it is. We have the King of Pentacles. I see the Lovers again. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Moon. Okay, so the next three months, there is some sort of a reunion here or a union with a lover, with a soulmate, with a counterpart. Um, there is some of that Five of Swords, Five of Wands energy, conflict, kind of going back and forth, a lot of fears and just stuff from below that are coming to the surface. Just things that are, are um, maybe have been hidden in the shadows that are kind of causing some... Some of that conflict energy here that's making you go back and forth kind of similar to pile one not gonna lie this energy is pretty similar to that so you might want to check out pile one and see pile one was a lot more clear i've been experiencing that where pile two in my readings is just like complicated <laughs> there's not ever like a clear message so it is what it is but yeah we have the king of pentacles at the bottom so i think that what's coming up for you here in in like the essence of it is that there is some sort of a serious commitment here with someone, a new beginning, and um, it is stable, but it is going to bring up some past issues that are going to make you be indecisive and not knowing how to move forward. So let's get advice for you. So what is your advice? And yet this person could already be talking to you and it could develop into more or deepen, I guess, turn into like a serious thing. But I, I think it starts off where um, you guys are just kind of having fun. So maybe there's a couple situations. Maybe there's like for those of you like who have a past person, that's one story. And then for those who don't, it's like this a lighthearted situation that turns to something more serious and that you have to be open-minded for or if it is a person from your past then maybe there was some conflict and like this is something that you guys are trying to give another chance to or maybe it's a person that just feels very familiar to you but it's not somebody from your past but it is um a new beginning here with this person that feels Maybe they trigger things of the past, right? Like maybe they, maybe that's how you're the wounded warrior, like just having your guard up and stuff because they remind you of this person that you used to date, let's say, that did hurt you in a certain way or didn't work out. Maybe it was like your, you know, a serious relationship that you were in in the past. And so, and so this person brings up those fears, right? Triggers those fears and those conflicting thoughts making you be indecisive and back and forth but this person isn't that person this person isn't the person from your past this person is a new person with new energy and they just trigger old wounds of yours that you have to heal and that's why spiritual maturity is here because this person is going to help you mature in those areas and help you heal those wounds and that's why you have to keep an open mind because you would immediately be like, nope, you're not my person. You're making me feel the way that my ex used to make me feel. But in reality, it's like these are just still your own things that you haven't addressed. This is your own shadow that you haven't addressed. And this person's just bringing it out. But this person isn't going to hurt you in those ways. So you can drop your guard. And you need to just start slowly and maybe have fun with this person and just ease into it. Because there's this very warm, comforting soulmate energy from this person, but it is triggering a lot of conflict. I actually, as I'm talking about it, I'm feeling more that energy. Like it's resonating with me more than like an like an ex coming back or something like that. Um, this feels more like new energy, but almost like triggering a past situation that you weren't happy in. Or it could be, um, yeah, yeah, no. That's, that's, that's what I'm feeling. Create your joy, smile, and laugh. You deserve to be happy for no reason. Take time to do what feels good. 
yeah there's a lot of happiness coming up in the next few months of your love life you're going to be very happy trust take a chance faith can move mountains trust the universe to guide you through the unknown yeah so the unknown with the moon there's a lot of unknowns here in this connection that are going to trigger you and scare you and maybe put your defenses up and and um get into your like fighting energy but i think you can trust this you can trust this situation i honor my intuition i trust myself you can trust the situation and you can also trust yourself and trust your heart i think if you feel good in your heart if this feels right trust it even though it's bringing up old wounds that are kind of getting in the way of trusting this connection a hundred percent um but i see that this turns into like something serious and real so if you are currently you know talking to someone that is being what, what i described or making you feel that way that you're like oh, i'm not really interested like you're not my type or there's no way that you could be my person there's just no you know like that kind of stuff like maybe keep an open mind towards that person because you don't know what it can develop into and they could really help you grow in this area where you feel wounded still and help you mature so yeah that's what i have for you pile two sorry that was a little bit all over the place as usual pile two um but here we are i hope you enjoyed that and it resonated if it did please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i wish you all the best bye hi pile three welcome to your reading so if you chose this amethyst this is going to be your reading all about what is going on in your love life for the next three months so this is a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this is when it's meant for you and how we're going to do this is i'm going to first and foremost pull some cards to see where you currently are in your love life so you can kind of check in and tune in and see if this is your pile um and then we're going to get into the next three months and this card right here represents kind of the overall energy of the next three months and then we'll also be pulling more cards for that so the sun oh number one <laughs> So overall energy for the next three months of your love life is happiness, joy, fulfillment, clarity, healing, sun. So sunshine, happiness. Um, maybe you're going to be visiting a place that's really sunny and warm and you're going to feel very happy there. Um, there's there's just this, this is, the happy, this is like the happiest card ever. So a lot of good things and blessings coming in your love life, okay? But we're not going to get fully into that right now. We're going to get out your cards for where you currently are um, just to kind of tune into your energy and see what's going on with you right now. So what is going on with pile three currently in their love life? Where's pile three currently in their journey in love? What is going on with them currently? Pile three, current energy in love. What is their situation? Okay, we have the page of cups. The Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And then there's like 20 cards that fell out. So we'll just put that back in the deck and continue shuffling. I just saw 222 on my timer. Sorry, the camera angle is like crooked. Um,. I guess I can make it crooked on my end so it looks straight for you. <laughs> it's just the way that it's angled. So just that it gets everything in the screen. Okay, pile three. Where are they currently at in their love life? Love and romance. What is their current situation? Current energy. Okay, so basically with this energy, I see that... You're at kind of maybe even a crossroad in your love life. Um, there's been a major ending here with the Ten of Swords. Um, there's maybe there was a betrayal. There's just a lot of pain, a lot of emotional pain, mental anguish pain. Um, feeling backstabbed even, just a painful ending. So this is perhaps something that you have gone through 
in the recent past or it's like currently what you're going through and we also have the eight of cups so this is uh, you walked away from something that was no longer fulfilling you okay um it was hard it was a painful ending but it just wasn't serving you anymore and you've been kind of back and forth with this maybe it was a serious relationship that you were in and you had to cut something out and you you were kind of going back and forth not knowing how to move, you you don't know how to move forward or maybe in the recent past you didn't know um there was a lot of blocks here blocked energy blocks in communication not seeing clearly not really knowing what your intuition is telling you feeling very disconnected from yourself even um but i think also currently we have the page of cups so you're hopeful like you're hopeful with love you're hopeful in connecting with people um in that way but not too serious like you're not really looking for anything super serious right now because I think you went through a lot that it's too much maybe to go into a deep relationship, serious relationship. So maybe you're just looking for a lighthearted connection, somebody you can just kind of play around with, flirt with. Um, but it is of the heart, you know, it's the cups. So it is something that still meets your emotional needs to some level or makes you happy emotionally to some extent because you need i think you would need emotional connection right now um or this could also be a third party situation that happened because there are three people on this so it could be that you dealt with some sort of a betrayal on that level where there was you know somebody cheated on you or maybe you did the cheating and there was just this I, you don't know how to move forward because you're scared. You're scared to, of this painful ending, but you did it. You walked away. Or maybe that's, like I said, what you're currently kind of going through. You did it. You walked away. And uh, you're going towards the sun. You're going literally towards the sun. That's what the Eight of Cups is. You walk away from, from something that is not 100% in order to find 100%. And it's like this maybe wasn't that bad, although it does look really bad. Um, but you're going... And you're taking a risk that you're going to find something better and more fulfilling than where you are now, you know, and you are because we have the sun. So your next three months of your love life are, are about a lot of healing, a lot of happiness, a lot of, a lot of joy. So that's really nice. It's a really good to, to look forward to that. Okay. Let's pull some more cards. So let's see. Pile three, what is coming up? So this is about the next three months now. We have their current energy and the next three months. What is coming up for them for the next three months in their love life? And like I said, this if this isn't your current energy, but it is um, something that you've experienced in the past or recent past, or this was like maybe even within the last year or so, and you're no longer in this energy, you know, take whatever resonates. If this is the storylines resonating with you, then maybe this is something that you're coming out of right now. When I was shuffling cards, the sun also flipped over when those 20 cards fell out. I didn't take it, but I am acknowledging it. So where you currently are is the sun was there. So maybe you are in that more healed energy or healing from this, not so much in the grunt of this darkness some of you are though so i think wherever you there's different um ends of the spectrum here on um, wherever you are as far as that process goes so the next three months love life for pile three emotional freedom look at that just being emotionally free and happy and feeling good within yourself this this emotional instability of not knowing um what you want where your heart lies what your intuition is telling you not knowing how you know another feels about you because you know they're toxic or they're narcissistic or they're abusive or they're uh, deceitful whatever it's just not knowing the truth i think you're gonna free yourself from that in the next three months you're gonna finally have emotional freedom independence clarity where you are in charge of your emotions where you're in control of your emotions and you feel stable in that like you feel like i, I i'm like you're not letting these other people or situations impact you to where you're so fragile right like you're so fragile emotionally to where um anything that somebody says or does is going to hurt you it's like you're gaining the strength and this confidence in yourself 
and the maturity to have this um, security within yourself about your feelings and how you feel and what you want and what you desire and what you deserve. It's beautiful. You're free. You're emotionally free from the pain too. The next few months of your love life, you're free from this pain, whatever you experienced here. And you're just abundant. You're basking in your happy energy in your abundance because we have the garden at the bottom you're just laying there in your garden in nature in the sunshine soaking it in connecting with yourself and feeling so freaking happy even if you're not with anyone i'm not saying you're not with anyone i'm just saying that even if you're alone you will feel good and you feel satisfied and fulfilled and it's like you don't need anyone you're free you're happy like there's this really really happy fulfilled energy and she's alone here so you could be like alone doing this but you feel good about it so the next three months for pile three in their love life what is coming up for them Ooh. we have romantic feelings well i did see intimacy here at the bottom under garden intimacy so you might not be completely alone the next few months not that there's anything wrong with that but this is a love reading, so obviously that's what we're looking for. <laughs> but we have honeymoon and chemistry. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. This is kind of what I was saying in the beginning with the sun is maybe you're going to be hanging out with someone who on vacation or somewhere tropical or somewhere where there's sunshine. Maybe you're taking a vacation together, a retreat, um, or genuinely just like going on. Well, I don't know about a honeymoon because I don't know what your situation is. And then also with the chemistry, that's like very similar to the sun energy, which just kind of reminds me of Leo energy. It's just this strong, sexual, passionate, fiery energy. So I think that there's going to be somebody here who you're going to have romantic feelings for and you might take a vacation with them in the next three months. There's a lot of strong chemistry. It's going to feel very joyous and you're going to feel very alive and happy. It could be somewhere in the countryside where there's mountains and like I said, just very green and lush and there's trees and um, beautiful nature. So somewhere in nature, um, there could also be water. This also looks like Venice, Italy, so something that could look like that. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. So pile. Pile three, what is coming up for them? In their love life what is coming up in their love life in the next three months next three months of their love life tell me what they need to know the eight of i definitely feel travel like i do i feel like you're going to be traveling somewhere and either you meet someone on your travels or you're going to be traveling with a person that you maybe meet at work the three of pentacles maybe you work with this person you know them from a physical place so like a physical actual place so it could be school it could be work it could be like in your community somewhere uh, a class that you take a, a, the gym a health club um like a favorite like restaurant that you go to a coffee shop like something like a physical place that you know this person from that could be a possibility um so the next three months of pile three's love life what do they need to know what's coming up for them We have temperance again more travel energy because it's sagittarius six of wands and the five of swords the hanged one at the bottom So I definitely do see a lot more healing here in your future um, when it comes to your love life. 
um, a lot more emotional balance. So this emotional freedom card is very important here. This really goes along with this temperance card. This is about gaining emotional stability, balancing out your emotions, just um, feeling one with yourself there's a lot of healing energy here connecting with the divine being guided by by the the divine the universe you know a higher power um guided by your truth your intuition seeking a higher truth um gaining higher knowledge and just really feeling free this free spirited energy with temperance being sagittarius just a lot of freedom you know feeling emotionally free that's really coming out strongly here um and maybe there are some things that still come up. Um, the Five of Swords, actually, let me, before I start talking about that, I just want to clarify that. The Five of Swords, is a, it's mental conflict, anxiety, fears, competition, um, a lose-lose situation with someone, a breakup and ending, something like that, fighting, conflict. So um, what Five of Swords, tell me what you want, how for you to know about that for the next few months of their love life. Oh, okay. So we have the Eight of Swords. So your Five of Swords energy that's coming through is being clarified by the Eight of Swords, which is showing me that this is an internal battle that you have with yourself. This is an internal situation. It's not necessarily coming from the outside, and it's not... Um, it's there's really nothing on the outside that's causing this conflict it's not like someone's actually actively hurting you or betraying you or causing you pain it's something that you're interpreting as pain and bad and conflict and betrayal you're interpreting it as that because of your own limited maybe mindset or perspective about this situation or your own fears getting in the way insecurities stuff from the past okay your own wounds um blocking your vision of the truth and um so that's coming up here and the truth is is there is again travel energy with the chariot and with um a person who really sees you for who you are okay so there is this two of cups energy somebody who really likes you who really feels close to you um this is like kind of like a soulmate type of energy but it is just like romantic feelings right somebody who has mutual feelings for you they feel about you the way you feel about them there's a reciprocation here in emotions um it's not one-sided okay and this is somebody that you'll be traveling with you'll be moving somewhere with but your own um fears are creating conflict and so i think you need to be careful of that that you're not creating problems when there's no problems because of some things that you need to work through um because all of this is positive energy here so yes the hanged one at the bottom so you need to gain a new perspective this is about hanging upside down so that you can see the situation in a different light and gain a new understanding and that's why temperance came out is because this is seeking a higher truth this is seeking your own truth and so this is about taking time to yourself to really tune in and be like well what is the truth of the situation what is my own stuff that's coming in the way what is my own fears and wounds and tr trauma and what is actually real about the situation and really focusing on the truth of the situation right and i think this is your process to gaining that emotional freedom where you're not letting your negative thoughts and insecurities and limiting beliefs get in the way of your vision where you are able to remain emotionally stable and strong even when there's conflict because you understand that a lot of it is coming from your own interpretation of the situation and um, even if the person's genuinely doing something that isn't up to your standards or liking you can still look at it with a clear mind and a mature mindset and like well, okay, this person's not trying to hurt me. They're just dealing with their own stuff. So I'm not going to let them affect me and trigger me in this kind of way. Let me stay in control of myself. That's kind of like the process I see for you. Um, and there's success here. There's victory here. There's a, I feel like you're, there's happiness and success in your love life. I don't know that this is like a serious relationship or anything like that, but there's definitely somebody in your corner who you're going to have a lot of fun with, a lot of chemistry. You're going to feel very happy in the next three months. Like I said, you're going to feel happy within yourself because of your own emotional freedom that you have gained after this fucked up situation. And you're also going to have a chance to travel somewhere with this person where you're going to have a really good time. 
you're going to see eye to eye, you're going to connect, you're going to be on the same wavelength. There's success, there's happiness, there's victory, there's a recognition of you and who you are. Maybe they'll put you on kind of like a pedestal, make you feel really special, positive communication, uh, a lot of passion, quick travel, um, working together, collaborating, and just a lot of healing energy as well. So it looks really good for the next three months. It just seems like a more fun, lighthearted energy maybe that's what this was like that's kind of what you're looking for you're not looking for a serious relationship or situation you just want to get away and have fun yeah that's what this looks like to me like it's a getaway to have fun and escape this bullshit that you've been through and just uh remember what it feels like to to be happy again remember what it feels like to connect with someone again and have have that like where we we just vibe like you just get along with someone and it just it just it's nice they're not toxic they're not um there's no drama and the only drama there is comes from your own head so that's something that you're gonna have an opportunity to address and heal again um so yeah that looks good <laughs> let's see what else you need to know about what is pile three what else do they need to know about the next three months of their love life any other major things that are going to be happening The king of pentacles so somebody who is committed to you though um they are they aren't in and out they aren't wishy-washy they aren't hot and cold they're not like they're trustworthy this person is trustworthy you can trust their intentions they're they seem like they're here to stay they're here to invest um they could be very successful and they could be a taurus this is mainly Taur taurus energy but taurus virgo capricorn they could be really stable in their career they could be really um this is a masculine energy. This could also be your energy as well, that you're feeling very stable within yourself and your career and like money's kind of flowing in and you're feeling abundant or maybe they are. Um, but there's a lot of new insightful communication. There's a lot of like there's a lot of back and forth communication between you and this person. And it's just really you guys are really connecting on the mental level as well. Um, and seeing very clearly like you have a lot of clarity. The Knight of Pentacles and Strength. So this situation is going to require for you to be strong. And um, yeah, you're definitely like still kind of back and forth indecisive with the Two of Pentacles coming out again. Um, not sure, you know, not sure how to move forward. But I do feel like this person has intentions to invest into you and to not just be like, okay, let's go travel, let's go go on a trip together and then bye. Like this person has intentions to kind of be here for longer than just a week or whatever, or three months. <laughs> um, they seem like you can, dependable. They seem dependable and like when they, f when they um, commit themselves to a goal, this is the type of person that follows through to the end. Okay, so you can trust them in that kind of a way, whether or not you want this, like you might not want it, whatever, that's up to you. But I don't know, you are kind of going back and forth and like, mm, do I want it? But this person does. And um, they do have their eye on you. This person has their eye on the prize and that is you. And there's a lot of attraction here, a lot of sexual chemistry flirtation um maybe even stuff that they have to tame or you guys have to tame because it's so strong that it's like it's hard to control you know it's hard to control these urges that you guys have for each other but you're 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 looking very sexy and very attractive to this person and they want you that's for sure they're gonna make you feel very good about yourself so let's just get some advice for you. What is your advice for pile three for the next three months with regards to their love life? What is your advice to pile three? Oh my gosh, look! I love it when things align. Time for adventure. Turn waiting into living. Be spontaneous. Try new things. If not, now when? Yes, that's what I feel. I feel like you're going to have some sort of like a an opportunity for a spontaneous adventure either to go on your own 
because you're following your happiness and then that's where because you're free you're this like sagittarius free spirited energy and then that's where you meet this person or you go with you meet a person and you go with this person and it's like kind of like a, a risk that you're taking you're being bold like mm, this doesn't necessarily seem like like it's maybe not that thought through it's like a random spontaneous idea but it feels so good because it makes you feel alive after this death literally like this guy's dead you know so maybe that's something that you were feeling for a little bit there like just very disconnected from yourself from your intuition looking for joy and happiness and just living life and you're gonna have this opportunity for this spontaneous adventure and to take it obviously like be safe and don't go on an adventure with some random person that you don't know anything about and then we also have unleash your passion connect with your sexual energy sleep naked touch moan and fantasize enjoy pleasure oh you'll have plenty of that i definitely think so follow your passion you're gonna have that with yourself you're gonna have that with this person you're gonna feel very connected to your body um in the next three months and then we have all is temporary it's okay not to feel your best like the moon we go through phases give yourself time to get your groove back this too will soon pass i think this is for you for now what you're going through just remember that whatever it is that you're going through it will pass you will have this happiness here the sun will come out and then keep being you what others say or do is a reflection of them not you don't take anything personally it drains your energy the emotional freedom aspect where this is what i was talking about like being in control of yourself and your emotions and your thoughts and just because other people are have their own issues that they're projecting onto you and their own insecurities and fears and all the things you know don't make it feel like it's about you don't take it personally and then that brings you down emotionally this is where you have that strength of self sense of self and this this feeling very centered you know and grounded and just sure self-assured and like this is who i am this is what i have to offer this is where i'm going this is what my worth is. This is my truth. And your bullshit is not going to affect that. I'm going to stay strong and happy. I'm focusing on my happiness. So you're just like focusing on your own happiness. And at the bottom, we have accept. It is what it is. Healing occurs naturally with acceptance. Make peace with what is. The only way out is through. So if there is the pain that you're dealing with, just know that accepting the situation for what it is will help you heal through it um healing will occur naturally and i think that this little escape getaway and, and kind of like a, a, a reconnection with your joy and passion is gonna re remind you of like life is worth living like there's a lot of hope there's a lot of happiness here in your future that is the potential and you're gonna have an opportunity to experience that in the next three months with someone so yeah it looks really good um, yeah, so that's what I have for you, Pile 3. I really hope that you enjoyed that and it resonated. Please let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the best and I will see you in my next video. Bye.